Hi, I'm Aarti Krishnan and you're watching A to Z of Stock Market Investing. Today, let's look at V for Volatility Index or VIX. Usually, traders or investors in the stock market either decide that the market is going up and they take long positions in the index or they decide that the market is going to fall and take short positions. Basically, long means buying the index and short means selling the index. However, there is a third class of traders who would like to take a call on how volatile the markets will be over the next few days. What do you mean by volatility? You mean that the markets are expected to swing wildly over the next few days. Basically, volatility indices globally try to measure the extent of change in the indices over the next month or next few months. The India VIX or the India Volatility Index tries to measure the volatility of the Nifty Index in the Indian markets over the next 30 days. It measures the expectations of traders on volatility in the index in the next month. The India VIX is disseminated by the National Stock Exchange. The first volatility index in the world was introduced in the Chicago Board of Options Exchange in 1993. Following the model of the CBOE, the National Stock Exchange also decided to calculate a volatility index for the Indian market. That is the India VIX. The India VIX is calculated on the basis of the best bid ask prices of the Nifty options contract for the current month and the next month. To put it more simply, it looks at the best buy price and best sell price for the index in the next one month in the FNO market and then based on the spread between the two, it arrives at the extent of volatility that the traders expect in the next 30 days. The India VIX is given as a percentage number. Basically, the monthly volatility expectation is calculated and then it is multiplied by 12 to annualize it. The India VIX can vary between 0 and 100. 0 denoting very low volatility expectations and 100 denoting very high volatility expectations. In the past, if you see, the highest value that the India VIX has hit is 85 odd points. Basically, this happened just in the aftermath of the Lehman crisis of 2007. The entire global market was going through a very volatile phase at this time. And in November 2008, the India VIX had spiked to a value of 85 points and above. After that huge spike in November 2008, the index cooled rapidly and fell to levels of 40 or so by the end of the year. Thereafter, there were minor blips in it during the Mumbai terrorist attacks and other events like that, but it has never gone to 80 plus levels again. When we went through this Chinese stock market collapse in August 2015, the India VIX went through another bout of gyrations when it again spiked to 35 or so. In fact, the, the day on which the stock exchange in India saw a 1600 point fall in the Sensex, the very next day the VIX hit its yearly high of 35 and above. Thereafter, it has been a downhill journey for the index. In common parlance, the VIX or volatility index is known as the fear gauge. The higher the level of the fear gauge, the more is the extent of nervousness on, on the street. The less the value of the fear gauge, the lower is the extent of nervousness on the street. Basically, speculators may use the VIX, in fact they may use the VIX futures in order to hedge against volatility in their portfolio. They can use it to protect their portfolio value. Or there may be options traders who actually make money from volatility. They may use the VIX value in order to gauge how to take their positions over the next few months. However, even if you are not an options trader or a futures trader, you may still find the VIX value a pretty useful gauge. This is because the VIX is the best contrarian indicator that you can find of the market mode. If the VIX value is extremely high, it means that panic is gripping the street and there's a lot of fear and mayhem. This may actually be a good time for contrarian investors to step in and buy stocks or shares. Similarly, if the VIX is at an extremely low level like it was in November 2014, it went down to 9 points, that may be a good time when you ought to be booking profits on your stocks. 